In this video, we'll look at how we can use the quotient rule to simplify radicals. The quotient rule simply says that we can reduce the coefficients outside of the radical, and we can also reduce the numbers inside the radical together. Another way of thinking about that is when we see the problem 15 cube root of 108 over 20 cube root of 2, we can think about the 15 over 20 as one fraction, and then under the cube root, we can think about 108 over 2 and reduce those individual parts separately. Either way we look at it, they're both the same. 15 and 20 can both reduce by dividing by 5, giving us 3 and 4, left outside the radicals. Inside the radicals, 108 and 2 are both divisible by 2. 108 divided by 2 is 54, and 2 divided by 2 is 1, and we get the cube root of 54 over 1. Let's write this a bit cleaner. We have 3 times the cube root of 54 over 4 times 1 is 4. However, we may notice that that cube root might simplify. I'm going to do the prime factorization off to the right, because I'm out of... There, I don't have any space beneath. 54 is 2 times 27. 27 is 9 times 3, and 9 is 3 times 3. You may notice, because the index is 3, we're looking for triples, we have 3 of the number 3 that can come out of the radical. So now, the 3 that's already in front, the 3 that we pull out left inside the cube root is the number 2 over 4. And so for our final answer, 3 times 3 is 9, cube root of 2 over 4. That's how we can use the quotient rule to help us simplify with radicals. We can simplify the parts outside the radical, and we can simplify the factors inside the radical, and then finally, simplify any resulting radicals till everything is as simplified as possible.